Hello my lovelies! Today I want to show you how to do a sewing project. I'm going to recreate this adorable mannequin Neko plush to bring good fortune. The basic structure of the cat is inspired by Momo Love at Instructables.com. Momo Love has a wide range of eclectic, amazing step-by-step -step craft tutorials which I encourage you guys to take a look and of course I'll provide information in the down bar. To create this character, you're going to need some socks, and instead of using regular socks, I chose to use these adorable newborn socks. I just think they're so tiny and so cute, and they make the perfect size character for me. I'm using the 0 to 3 month old socks, but as you can see, they come in larger sizes. I just think the newborn ones are much cuter. The size of your sock doesn't really matter, it's actually the ankle of the socks. You want to make sure it has a really long ankle to form the body of your little cat, and you want to make sure it has a nice little heel because that's going to form the head. So I'm going to flatten this sock out with the heel of it facing forward to me and that's going to be the head of your cute little cat. A few inches above the heel of the sock, you're going to draw the two ears of your little cat character. As you can see, I'm using a black Sharpie, but don't worry, you're going to sew this and when you turn it inside out, you won't be able to see it. So I'm just taking a sewing needle and some white string and to form a knot at the very bottom, I just curled the string around my finger and rolled it off and when you push this all the way down you'll notice that you formed a nice little knot to start your sewing project. You don't need anything really fancy. You can use a sewing machine if you want but as you can see I'm just sewing the needle up and down along the ear and the outline that I created and at the very end make sure you form a knot and cut off the rest of the extra string. With a pair of scissors you're going to cut off all the extra sock and you're going to flip this character inside out. Now to stuff this character, I'm using actually some pillow stuffing. I just took an old pillow that I didn't care for and went ahead and used it as the stuffing inside. But you could definitely can buy stuffing at different craft stores and Walmart. I've seen them sell it there. So here I'm just turning my character inside out and make sure you spend extra care to flip the ears all the way out and just take a lot of stuffing and stuff this character until it's a really nice good size. I was actually genuinely surprised how much stuffing I could place inside this character because the newborn sock actually looked really small when I first bought it. But once your character is all poofed out and large, it actually takes up a lot of space. And as a tip, I actually placed in the stuffing for the head first before I put it in the body. I didn't use one giant clump because as you can see, the heel of the sock kind of segregates the head from the body. You can see this nice little dip where the heel of the sock was. Great, so this is the basic body of your cute little cat. As you can see, it's already really, really adorable. So to close everything up, I'm just taking my sewing needle and I'm sewing it in and out on the very bottom to help close and seal the stuffing all inside of your little character. Just make sure you use a really good knot to tie the very bottom. To form the other parts of the cat, I'm using felted fabric. You can get them really cheap at any craft store, including Walmart. They're usually less than 25 cents. And I cut out little triangles to form the inserts of the ears. For the extremities, I just drew on some hands on my extra sock and I sewed all the way around except for the bottom so you can turn the cute little waving hand inside out. Just flip the hand inside out and add some nice little stuffing. To attach the arm onto the body, I positioned it onto the side where I think it belongs and just use a sewing needle to sew this hand right on. For the other hand that holds the little gold coin on the opposite side, I just cut out a nice little circle, take some stuffing, place it into the center, and you're going to take your sewing needle and just go up and down kind of like you did on the bottom of your cat to form a nice little circled hand. Again, once you've completed this step, just position this onto your little cat character where you want it and sew it onto the body. So this is what my mannequin Neko looks like so far. I'm going to add the rest of its face. I'm using some animal eyes. I'm positioning them where I think they belong. With a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut a small little hole and super glue these eyes in. Now there are a lot of different types of mannequin Nekos. I'm just going to do the classic one that has the green bib and the nice little red collar. So I just took some felting fabric and cut these into a nice shape. I placed a nice little ring into the red collar so that's where my bell's gonna hang and I super glued both of these pieces onto my cat. 
For some added color, I took some blush colored makeup and gave my cat actual blush and it will actually stain the fabric a nice little pink color and I gave it some nice little whiskers with some black felt. To give you guys a better idea, I'm using a makeup palette like this one and I'm taking a nice nude color and placing it on the top of his forehead to form the little splotches of colors that most mannequin necos have. This is completely optional, but if you want to give your cat a little bit of color, this will absolutely work. It just stains the fabric a nice little tinge. Attach your bell to your center and your cat character is almost all done. All you need to do is form the little coin. I am using yellow polymer clay to form the base of the coin, but it really doesn't matter what color you use because I'm going to paint over it later. I shaped this into a nice little oval and baked it into the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes until it's nice and solid. And with some nice gold colored nail polish, I'm using the one from Sally Hansen Extreme, and I'm going to paint this all over until it makes a nice gold coin. The key is to paint multiple layers until it's really, really opaque. You don't want to be able to see any of the yellow clay on the very bottom. Now, different mannequin necos hold different coins. I just picked the most basic one that I found online, and using a Sharpie, I just drew out the calligraphy that belongs on the center. So this is what my completed coin looks like, and I just positioned it onto my cat and super glued it down. And that, everyone, is how I made my mannequin Neko. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and check out my other videos. My Instagram username is FlyingMio. You can follow me there for photos of more of my crafts. And please do check out MomoLove at Instructable.com for these wonderful crafting ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all of your support. I am keeping all of your requests in mind. Bye, everyone, and good luck crafting.